Well, with the Summer Olympics in Tokyo officially postponed and athletes around the world reworking their training plans and looking ahead, here's someone who might know a little bit about gearing up for the games. Bronze medalist Adam Rippon is here with me now. Adam, it is so good to see you. It's so good to see you. How are you doing? I'm doing good. How are you holding up and how's your family? Uh, my family's all good. I'm holding up. I'm staying isolated inside. I'm washing my hands. I know. It's like I, I've never needed more moisturizer in my life. My hands are so dry. But it's I like feel you on a spiritual level when you say that. <laughs> yeah. Well, as an athlete, how has your training or how has your workouts changed since this has all happened? Well, I think it's just kind of like adapting to just being at home and doing what you can with what you have at home. So I think like during these times when we're quarantining, one of the best things that you can do is just get outside and go for a walk, yeah. just still get fresh air, still be in the sun for a little bit, you know, still maintain that six feet of distance between everyone. But even though you are quarantined inside, get outside and still get like that fresh air. Well, I saw the video that you made um, of skating to Beyonce's other side. Can I just say like, <laughs> wow, I was mesmerized, captivated. I actually did it in November, but I just, I forgot I had done it. And I felt like, oh, that'd be really nice if I could share this because it's a beautiful song. And, um, you know, it, it's just nice to kind of get people to take their mind off of everything that's kind of going on right now. Yeah, it definitely did that for me. I really enjoyed it. I wish You're I could so have like 10 more of those. <laughs> <laughs> if you could just give me like 10 more of those. And then you I got it. I'm going to get right back to it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so listen, though, the Olympics is postponed. Um, a lot of people have their feelings about this. You were very vocal on Twitter in support of this decision. So why do you think that was the right move? Um, you know what? I, I think if I were an athlete, I would just wish that they would wait to make this decision. Um, but that's because when you're an athlete, you're sort of in that bubble, in that moment of just wanting it to happen. It's something you look forward to and, and want for your entire sporting career. But I think um, with everything going on, nobody really is at risk to not get sick. And we don't really, I feel, need to put athletes who are going to be in one of the most stressful situations of their lives to then have to worry about their health and the health of their families or if their families can make it and travel, if their coaches are going to get this virus. It's just, it's so much to deal with and it's not worth putting the athletes um, in a position to have to worry about their health as, as well as representing their country. You are a joy for me to watch on and off the ice. So I'm just wondering how you're keeping positive during this time. Um, well, before we were quarantined, I um, ordered a lot of um, big league chew, you know, that, that gum. Yes, have I you have ever had it before? Boy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So basically I've been spending my days of like having big league chew and champagne. So it's like, it's together? wild over here. <laughs> Is it together? Mm, you have to alternate, you know? Okay. Gotcha. Switch up. It's switch up. That's like, that's the training kicking in. Switch it up. So that's it works right. better. Yeah. Listen, I loved reading your book last year. Jackie and I both love reading Beautiful on the Outside. You're so funny. Um, so for people that don't know about the book, this is a great time to pick up a book and read it. So tell them what to expect. Beautiful on the Outside is my memoir, and I wrote it and uh, came out with it last year. Um, but uh, I just wanted to kind of share my story of gearing up and getting ready to go to the Olympics. But basically, I really wanted to write a story that was funny and something that you laughed along with and, and I could take you kind of throughout the whole ride. It's definitely a fun read and it's definitely a good read for right now to kind of escape. You from tell them. On and put, put yourself in a good mood. So definitely pick up his book. But are, you know, it's kind of a nice time to maybe write a book too. Are you going to write another book or is this, this is one and done for you? Yeah. Sarah. Yeah. Let's not oh. write another book right now. Yeah, it's why I don't have a cookbook. And people ask me all the time, why haven't you written your cookbook? I'm like, because it's, it's a lot of time. It's a lot of time. You should do it though. Maybe start, you could start getting, just gather your recipes. Yes, I'll do that for you, Adam. Okay. Well, you work on more of those uh, routines for me. Um, and you gather your recipes. Yes. Well, it's been so lovely chatting with you today. I hope you stay well and stay safe. And um, everybody, you know, follow uh, Adam on social media and definitely pick up that book because it is, It'll brighten your day. Oh, you're so sweet. Thanks. Thanks for chatting with me this morning. Yeah, good to see you. You too.